Hey y'all, welcome back to Brambleberry. I don't know how many of you want to see this, but I have a little project going on here for my little generator lean-to. And I'm not sure if I showed this before, but I'm gonna show you now what I've gotten built up here on the side of the solar shed. I just extended this over, you know, kind of made a little lean-to to keep the rain off. It does blow in a little bit there, but not too bad. But anyway, I've got these two generators that I wanna keep both under there, but I gotta keep my air compressor under there too to keep it dry. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do is this generator, I wanna have up on top of that one. So I'm gonna build a little platform over that generator so that they can both sit there at the same time and vent out. And then if I wanna get a, uh, a parallel cable, I could even hook them both together as is usual, I'm trying to do this with uh, materials that I have laying around because I don't want to go buy anything for it. But I got a lot of stuff laying around, so hopefully I can find enough. I know I'm in the 2 by 4s uh, I just don't know if I can find some plywood or wood to put on top of it. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm going to get a 2 by 4 uh, probably build like a rectangle that's big enough for the generator to sit on. And then I'm going to screw it into the side of the wall here so it'll be uh, screwed into some pallets on the inside there and then i'll put some legs on it on this other side i found a bunch of these little pieces of two by fours in my wood pile for the top or the floor or whatever you want to call it i've got some leftover weird shaped pieces of this siding uh that i think i'm going to use rather than uh, cutting up a brand new sheet of plywood and I'm gonna size this thing so it's just a little bit bigger than the generator. I don't want it to be like like right the same size. I want you know real room to move it around and play with it if I need to. But I also don't want it too big because that's gonna cut down on my storage space on the other side there. And I gotta be able to get that thing rolled in and out whenever I need it. The exterior dimensions of the two by four box is gonna be uh, 21 inches wide by 30 deep. So if I need a box that is 30 by 21 I got to figure out what size to cut these boards two by fours are an inch and a half wide and I think I'm gonna do since I have all short boards I'm gonna make this 30 inches shorter and make the 21 inches 21 inches so i need to subtract um from each end here an inch and a half which is three inches so these long boards actually need to be 27 inches and then these 21 and then i'll put the uh, 21 inch boards on the outside of the 27 inch and that'll get me my 30 by 21 box So inside the shed here, these pallets have the little studs that I'm going to try to get in, make sure that I get a screw to bite into. It'd be nice if I ended up hitting it where one of these pieces of plywood is. And I might, I don't know, I might measure for that too. But what I did is I measured how far back they were and I came out here and I put little marks so I knew where they were. There's three different studs there. Uh, that I can get screws into and then what I'm going to do is kind of hold this up here flush with the back I want it to be all the way to the back and then I'm going to mark where those are on this and put my screws in get them started that way I can lift this thing up here and just zip some screws in <laughs> and now I need to put some legs on this so probably just gonna go on the outside here with a couple of two by fours. I think that should work okay. 
and that should leave me just enough room to get that to wheel by and be able to get this in and out. I'll have to wheel my bottom generator in and out every time I want to gas it up, but that's okay. It has nice wheels on it and it rolls easy. Actually, the more I looked at this and thought about it, I think I'm gonna do the legs a little bit different. Instead of putting this back one on the outside, I'm gonna put it on the inside so that it's not uh, hanging up on stuff out there. And I don't need uh, the generator to be able to get through the back of that anyway. Uh, and then this front one, I think I'm actually gonna cut it to where this sits right down on top of it. And then I'll zip some screws up, like toenail them in. Uh, and then that way, whenever it, the weight pushes down, it'll probably be better anyway. If I do it that way, that's gonna move this over and give me more space to roll things in and out on this side. And there'll still be plenty of room here for the, the generator to come in and out as needed. shot out the side oh well it'll still hold okay but let me just take that out I'm gonna hang up on that do it that way instead I'm gonna put these in at a little bit of an angle because they're just as long as these two boards are wide. So that'll keep it from popping out the other side, I hope. And it'll make it easier for me to get to. Yep, didn't pop out. First thing I'm going to do on this is get this piece off of here and square up an end to that side over there. Get that out of the way. There, doesn't that look pretty? Still gotta nail it down. The front one looks pretty, the back one looks pretty dirty. be good to have a support on that seam then again the generator's wheels are going to be out here and not pushing down on that i don't think i care that much it's probably going to be fine the way it is there we are fits pretty nicely i would say it's got plenty of room all around in the back and I guess there's a chance it could like vibrate off there so I guess if that 
becomes an issue, I can put a little stopper or rail or something on the side, but at the point this point in time, I'm not going to fool with it. So there you have it. There's the uh, generator tower or whatever you want to call it. Uh, hopefully it works for us. Hopefully it helps keep uh, our generators a little bit better in the dry and give me access to both of them. You know, sometimes you have spares for a reason. Sometimes one goes out. This uh, bottom one down here, the uh, the bigger generator, which we use more regularly, actually uh, quit working on us here a while back. But I mean, it was simple. It was just uh, low on oil. If you don't know that about these Predator generators, they have a, a low, low oil uh, sensor on them and they won't run if they get low on oil. So I just changed the oil out, put new oil in. This one I have another video on uh, getting it to run because it would not start and I had to replace this, some sensors and stuff in there. So uh, check that video out if you have one of these Predator uh, 3500s. It's a pretty easy fix if that's what your problem is. But the uh, typical thing with them um, is more so the low oil. Of course, you got air too and spark, but you got to check if they won't start. If it's the push start, you can't see what I'm doing, but as these are push button starts, it could be uh, just the battery is depleted, needing a new battery, but they should pull start, you know. But anyway, this isn't a uh, uh, video about generators, so I'll leave it at that. And I thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.